In this video, I will expand the previous video's principle to covariance matrices. So a correlation matrix is a special case of covariance matrix that has been scaled so that the variance of each variable is one. So correlation matrix is kind of like a standardized version of a covariance matrix. Some features of linear models are better understood in covariance ma metric. So understanding the same set of rules in covariance form is useful. Let's take a look at the, uh, the covariance between x1 and y. We calculate the covariance x1 and y exactly the same way as we calculated the correlation. So we take the, uh, the unstandardized regression coefficients here. So previously we were working with standardized regression coefficients. These are now unstandardized because we are working on, on the raw metric instead of the correlation metric. So we have x1 to y, one path, we get the beta 1, goes here. Then another way of x1 to y is to uh, travel one correlation, a covariance, x1 to x2, so that's a covariance, and then we get some path, so we get that. And then our x1 to x3, one covariance, and then to y. So that's uh, the, the, uh, the third. We, we sum those together, that gives us the covariance between x1 and y. And that's exactly the same, same math than we had in the correlation example, but instead of working with correlations, we work with covariances. Things get more interesting when we look at what is the variance of y. So the variance of y is given by that equation here. So the idea is that uh, we go from y and then we go to each source of variance of y and then we come back. So we go from y to x1, we take the variance of x1 and then we come back. So it's variance of x1 times beta 1 squared. In the correlation matri uh, metric we just take beta 1 and beta 1 squared because the variance in, in a correlation matrix is 1 so we just ignore that. When we go from y to r uh, to x1, x2 and x and beta 2 then we get that here and we go it both ways. So why that's uh, this is a useful rule is because it allows us to see that the variance of y is a sum of all these different sources of variation. So we get variation due to x, variation due to x, covariance between x and x2, we get variation due to the error term. So the variation of y is the sum of all these variances and covariances of the explanatory variables plus the variance of u, the error term that is uh, uncorrelated with all the explanatory variables. This covariance form of the model implied a correlation matrix rule is useful when you start working with more complicated models such as confirmatory factor analysis models.